let's practice with some patterns on our sewing machine. Place your pattern in between the two toes of your presser foot. Drop your presser foot to hold the pattern. You want the line of the pattern in between those two toes. Guide your pattern lightly like you're touching a Ouija board, really light. Those feed dogs are gonna pull it through. Remember, go slow when you get to the corner and use your hand wheel to place your needle right on the corner. Check your take-up lever to see if your needle is down. Good. You could use your hand wheel if it's not. Pick up your presser foot, rotate your paper, and then drop your foot again. Good job pivoting the corner. Remember, go slow when you get to those corners. Use that hand wheel if you need to. Check if your needle is down so you can pivot that corner again. Use your lever to raise your presser foot and rotate your paper. Drop it down again. Line up your pattern between those two toes. Go slow, a corner's coming. Nice job. Make sure that needle's down to hold that paper in place. Lift up that presser foot, rotate, and drop it down again. This time, you want your needle up so you can take out your pattern. There's that take up lever, yeah. Nice even stitches. Circle time. You want to go very slow with circles. Place your pattern between the two toes. Drop your presser foot. And remember, you want to kind of pump the gap. Don't be a speed racer around those curves. Lightly steer your paper pattern. Don't hold it back. That will make your stitches all bunched together. Control your speed with the pedal. Good job. Keep lining up that pattern with in between those two toes. Keep your eyes between the toes. Make sure your needle is up so you can remove the pattern. Good. Look at those nice, even stitches. Great job.